what's going on everybody um the day has come where we're going to work on the saturn again i was driving it i actually had to make a run with it out to grand rapids michigan uh last week on monday i think it was to go grab some tires for my wife's van and on my way back the reduced power warning came on um and it really wouldn't let me do a whole lot um so we're gonna scan the codes and see what we get and we'll go from there let's get started We're gonna break out our alt now. It gives us more info than other things. So we're gonna scan and see what we have here for our codes. And we have quite a few of them. Uh, it looks like we have one for throttle position sensor. We have another one for throttle position sensor. We have another one for throttle position sensor. We have one for fuel tank pressure sensor, throttle position, closed performance, minimal or minimum throttle position not learned. I'm starting to pick up on something here. Uh, the oxygen sensor one, I already know what that is. I actually am responsible for that one. When I was doing the exhaust a long time ago, I actually, um, the bung that the oxygen sensor behind the cat goes into stripped out. So I had ordered an, a system off of eBay. Don't buy it off eBay. And the cat itself hit on the sway bar. So it rattled like crazy and eventually just destroyed the ceramic on the inside. But me and my infinite wisdom was like, I need to get that oxygen sensor in there. And rather than just getting a new bung and welding it in, I welded that oxygen sensor to the exhaust all the way around. And now it uh, it has a fault for the heating element and it reads, just doesn't apparently heat up. So I'll get to that. But for now, we're worrying about the throttle issues. So everything you can see is throttle related for the most part, um, aside from that oxygen sensor and some other BS stuff. So when we go under the hood, One thing that should be happening that's not happening is one thing that should be happening that's not happening is we should hear our throttle learning and it's not. Usually it should make kind of a high pitched whining sound and clicking and everything and it's learning it's maximum open it's minimal open. Um, so we're going to throw on a new throttle uh, body. Yeah, that's that word, throttle body. So we're gonna throw that on and see if it makes any difference and hopefully takes care of those faults. To start, we're going to undo the one clip here. I think there's supposed to be another one back here, but there's not. But we need to undo the clamp here, the clamp here. We have to do these two 10 millimeters. I think that's a 10 as well. And that'll allow us to get our access to getting the whole intake system off. Eight millimeter, eight millimeter. Unhook our mass airflow sensor. We need a 10 millimeter. Kind of wiggle that intake up and off and out of the way. First off, I need to clean up some wiring here. This stuff looks like crap. Then I'm gonna feel back down here on my valve cover to see how much oil we have, which actually we don't have a bunch of oil on there. because I thought of redoing the valve covers, but I don't think I will. You do have to do the intake manifold gaskets down on the bottom. I bought some of those, um, but I don't think I'm gonna worry about them today. So you can get a peek in here. The throttle looks dirty, but it's not horrible. Um, it's definitely not all gummed up with a bunch of carbon or anything. So, uh, we're going to take off the throttle body on this, which is three bolts. There's one down in the very bottom of the middle. We have two coolant lines. We have another coolant line over here. And then we have this line here that goes for the positive crank ventilation system, which is a really dumb way that they ran all of this. But let's get the throttle body off. 
So we have a T30. Long T30. So we're gonna undo 10 millimeter bolt here because we need to take the whole air filter assembly out, which is pretty easy. Which gives us more room down here to work. So now you can see our throttle. So we have these hoses here we still have to get. We have a vacuum tube down here. This should be hooked up here. That's the whole problem right there. That one little clip, that was undone. I bet that's the whole problem right there. Probably not. All right. Twist. Glug, 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 glug. That one off. Not to tear it. There we go. Okay, so that one's off. Those two can hang out over there. Mm, good. And there's a little vacuum on the bottom. might be kind of stuck on there. So let's take our other bolt off. Or other torques, I should say. I'll get it eventually. It's in there. there you can see. Oh, it's a boy. All right, that's all that holds our throttle on. And it comes off. And let's see, we have our vacuum tube here that's connected and had a little split in it. Now I did run out of a, a gasket last time, so I made one out of uh, silicone. And uh, I mean, it held up pretty well. I will give it that, but I actually have a real replacement this time. Clean up the surface a little bit. Sure, there is some rule against doing what I just did. Cause it's like, oh god, oh, that stuff's gonna make it into your motor. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not sure if you're aware or not, but she's she's no show car. So probably if you're doing this at home, you might want to take a little more precaution than me. Maybe we'll put a thin layer of gasket sealer because here's where our gasket goes. I don't think we'll end up with a vacuum leak. It's pretty clean. Yeah. We're gonna put a little something down. Just a little RTV. Hold that thought. I don't see that working as well as I planned. Supposed to be kind of a thinner bead, but it's coming out extremely fast. This one I was not going for exactly, but we have to install quickly. I make no promises on this now. I shouldn't have put any on this side. 
that did not go at all according to plan. That in a minute because we have to put this on and torque it to spec. Uh, I'm screwing it up. Uh, I'm screwing it up so badly. This stuff is getting everywhere. Do not plan on it getting everywhere. Okay, well, though that did not go as planned, and now I look like I murdered something, all I wanted to do was fill a little void. Well, and created a huge gooey mess, but tis what it is, I don't care. I do care, but I don't care. I care for the looks, but as long as it functions, I'm really not that worried about it. So. Put some stuff back together here. I'm going to rewrap. I'm going to try and do something better with this vacuum line that is not as makeshift as it was before. Maybe I'll just rewrap it. Let's see. Oh, see, the tear's up here. I thought it was down here. Yeah, we're gonna rewrap it and call it kosher. So, fixed worked until I can get another one of these hoses. Last time, it was supposed to be, you know, just a temporary fix, and it turned a little more permanent. But, it's going to be a temporary fix. This time, until I either find one, or I don't. And if I don't, well, and I don't. Well, we've got the hose back down there, and now we're going to put on our two coolant lines. So we have our coolant lines on. I'm going to put you here so you can see the throttle itself actuate. Sounds like it found its minimum. She's responding to throttle. So I guess we have one step that's in a good direction. Let's check our codes. When we started the vehicle, let's see, we cycled the key. All right, so we have a heated oxygen sensor. We have a heated oxygen sensor, and that's it. So nothing for throttle and it seems to be okay at the moment well that's gonna do it for me today looks like we got everything back together for the most part uh, the throttle body I put in actually is the original throttle body that um, I had bought as a replacement for this years ago when I had this problem uh, when I was chasing down a throttle position sensor fault but it was a little bit different and it ended up being the ECU so this should be a good part we'll find out after a little bit of driving if it actually is but as you saw the only faults that came back were for our oxygen sensor which I know is bad but 
I'll drive it. I'll see what happens. Uh, it's not necessarily the prettiest repair, but sometimes it's a repair that you have to do. So hopefully it helps you if you have to replace the throttle body on your car. But I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.